Not that you're convinced that there's anything nice about them. But the nice thing about proving triangles congruent is that I don't have to prove that every single little thing is the same. I can get away with proving that just a couple things are the same, and then, ooh, voila, the whole triangle is the same. Right? Congruent polygons, it doesn't work that way. For polygons to be congruent, I have to prove that every single little piece matches up, which is not necessarily a whole lot of fun. I have to prove that if I've got another octagon here that this matches up with this and this and this and this, and I have to prove that every single little thing is the same. So if I've got a 15-sided shape, that's not going to be a whole lot of fun for me. Because right? I'm going to have to prove a whole lot of things before I can say that those polygons are exactly the same. Alright, so congruent polygons, polygons with all congruent sides and all congruent angles. All right. So as you can see here, we're going to start off and we're going to look at this regular octagon. No matter how poorly I've drawn it, since I'm telling you it's regular, that means that all the sides have exactly the same measure and all the angles are exactly the same too. That's what regular means. So, first thing they ask you is what shape is formed to the left of AE? As you can see, they drew in this line from A to E, and they're asking you what shape is there? What's this shape over here called? Proper name. Kaylee? That's a pentagon. It's got five sides, so it's a pe pentagon. Remember, it doesn't have to look like the building in Washington, D.C. It's just got to have five sides, and that makes it a pentagon. All right. The next thing they want to know, then, is that pentagon regular? Would this pentagon still be a regular shape? Are all the sides exactly the same? Do all the angles have exactly the same measure? Kaylee? No. No. All right. You could tell by looking at it, all right? This line is the length of the whole pentagon. And then you've got all these shorter sides they are supposed to be exactly the same. That can't possibly be. So this is no. It's not right now. All right. So then they want to know what line makes another congruent shape. So they want you to connect two other letters and make another shape that looks just like that. What two other letters could I connect to make another shape just like that. Jackie? Yeah. Right, I can connect BF and I'll get another set of pentagons. Right. Then the last one says, would AC make two congruent polygons? So if I draw a line from A to C, are the two shapes that are going to be formed be the same? Say it all out, Kelly. No. No. All right? Obviously not. Look what would happen here. If I drew a line from A to C, right, I made a triangle. Well, this is not a triangle down here, obviously. Right? So those two aren't. All right. Now, this last one is to make sure that you understand the ordering of them. The order is terribly important. I can't just say, okay, well, this looks like this, so that's the way it goes, and so on and so forth. The drawings are helpful to an extent, but what's really important is this lettering order here. This lettering order is all sorts of good things for me. The lettering order is important because the order of the letters in the first one always matches up with the letters of the order of the letters in the second one, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. <coughs> for instance, if I want to talk about line CH, CH, okay? If I look at my lettering order here, C is the fourth letter, H is the third letter. It matches up with whatever the fourth and the third letter is down here. Well, the fourth letter is C, the third letter is D. So CH has to match up with CD. And I know that because of the order there. So if I want to know about AH, well, 
AH is the first and the third letter. Well, the first and the third letter here matches up as F and D. So AH is congruent to FD. Works for angles just like it does sides. It wants to know about HCB now, angle HCB. Well, if you look at it, HCB are the last three letters. Well, the last three letters here are DCG. So it's got to match up with angle DCG. What is AI congruent to? Well, AI are the first two letters. The first two letters here are F and E. What is angle BAI congruent to? Well, BAI is the last letter and then the first two. The last letter and the first two are GFE. So it has to match up to GFE. Notice I didn't use the diagram for any of those. I just used that lettering order. That's going to be important. All right? Because that's going to be some of the stuff you're going to have a homework time. You're going to be expected to be able to go through that lettering order and match them up. Boom, 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 boom.